Which of the following pure compounds will exhibit hydrogen bonding? The bonding in hydrogen bonding is a little misleading. It's not an actual bond. Hydrogen bonding is a type of intermolecular force. Intermolecular forces are forces of attraction between molecules, so they hold the molecules closer to one another. How do we know how to figure out whether our molecule is capable of hydrogen bonding to another molecule of itself? Now, in order for a molecule to exhibit hydrogen bonding, it must have either OH, NH, or FH. If we have in our molecule oxygen connected to hydrogen, nitrogen connected to hydrogen, or fluorine connected to hydrogen, then it will be capable of exhibiting hydrogen bonding. First, we will go through all of these choices to see which ones are capable of having hydrogen bonding, and then I will show you what, a hyd what hydrogen bonding actually looks like. So if you look at A, we have CH3, CH2OH. Does this molecule have OH, NH, or FH? Yes, it does. So it has an OH, so it is capable of hydrogen bonding. The next molecule is CH2O. If we write out our CH2O, it actually looks like this. Does this molecule have OH, NH, or FH? It has an oxygen, so it could hydrogen bond to something that, um, like water, but it cannot hydrogen bond to another molecule of itself because it does not have OH. And therefore, this is a no. What about this one? Does it have OH and HFH? No, it does not. Same thing here. What about this one? This molecule looks like this. We have CH3O and then another CH3. Does this have OH, NH, or FH? No, it does not. Next, CH3, NH2. Oh, I see NH2. This molecule looks like this, CH3 and the two hydrogens. It has an NH, so this one will work. What about this one? No, it does not have OH, NH, or FH. Cross it out. NH3, NH3 is a yes. We choose NH3 because it has an NH. Now let's see what hydrogen bonding looks like. So the most famous example of a molecule that exhibits hydrogen bonding is water. Water is H2O. If we have two molecules of water, let's say this is my first molecule. It looks like this. And this is my second molecule. Looks like this. It has a bent shape. What happens in water is that oxygen is much, much more electronegative than the hydrogen. So oxygen will have a partially negative charge and hydrogens would have a partially positive charge. Let's go ahead and show it. Negative, partially negative, partially positive. Now, minus and plus are opposite charges and they attract each other. So, the oxygen on this water will be attracted to the hydrogen on this water molecule and this force of attraction, which is not an actual bond, is called hydrogen bond. So, this is an intermolecular force. This is the force of attraction between the two water molecules. That's what it would look like. This is my Lochi. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.